And we are back. We're loading up the save. I just exited the game and came back in because I need to see if that'll fix it. Unfortunately, I don't see... The one fix that people have given that would consistently do it is to reload a save from before you can even come into this place in the first place, which obviously is not an option for me because I only have one save file. So anyone who's coming through this game in the future, make sure you click on this stupid thing at the top, because if you do screw this up, then it will stay screwed up forever. There, it will eventually get sort of unbugged, but it's not... So, I don't know. I think that I can actually just do all of the altars anyway, and it will open the door, regardless of the fact that the altars are completely bugged out. But I think I already did it during But I think if you touch them all in any order, it will open the door. You will not get the bonuses that are associated with this, but it will open the door. That's the important thing, I guess. Uh, each one of these that you do correctly, you get plus five to the relevant statistic, so that's actually pretty good. But we just won't be able to fix this bug, so we'll just have to live with it. So we've now done all of those, and we can. We already did luck. I try speed, and I already did accuracy as well. The question is whether the door opens now. I might have to do every single one again, just because, yeah, it looks like I probably have to do them again. I did the other ones on previous entrances to the zone, so we'll see if I can get the door open. Painful as this means is, it's going to work eventually. Oh. <laughs> Using a lot of healing for this. And we will have to face off with those there as well. I'm going to it's pretty nice. Okay, I don't think I have anything else that I want to enchant right now. Actually I do, I have her hammer. Let's enchant her hammer and see how it goes. Double damage versus demons. It's pretty fitting for a cleric to have. Let's cast shield, because it'll last a very long time. Well, it won't last that long. So we didn't do life, and we didn't do might on this side. So hopefully that opens this up. If it doesn't open this up, then this is a dungeon that I'm not going to be able to do yet, just because the opening mechanism for the door is bugged out. And it doesn't look like this opened. We definitely touched every single one. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, so the door is unlocked. Door's unlocked, guys. It's all good. We're okay. Oh, right, I'm on this side. I was thinking I was on the other side, so it would be... Knowing where you are in relation to other things is kind of important in life. Okay, this 
This is actually very bad. Let's get out of here. Need to cast a couple of port buffs first. Okay, so we've got the reduces separated away from each other. Oh, that's why I had auto run on. <laughs> A lot of hit points. I'm just lucky that I haven't gotten stoned yet. So this one's toast. Save it up. Go after the next one. Just gonna stand right here. And this is actually perfect because what it'll do is it'll start running away from me as soon as it casts its spell. Uh, maybe not. Reduces toast. So we have two down, we have one to go. These Medusas are really strong. point I'm going to manage to cast the shield spell. It will happen eventually. There we go. And she stops. Oh god. And I'm gonna have to load because that failure right there um, means that I'm not gonna be able to get it off because my Earth magic skill is only normal. I don't. I don't have the mana to do that. What I should have tried was just not. Um, doing the, not doing the stupid part. And if you, even in a tight corridor, you can dodge most attacks just by ensuring that you are hugging one side of the corridor and then you go into the other side before you. So we'll see whether we manage to get this off. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't even try it again. So we're loading. Sad. I actually have the spell that I need to deal with st the, the stoned condition. It's just that it doesn't help that much. Can't cast any spells. Someone heal me. So let's try. There we go. And 
now this is running away. Got a ring. I'll take one of those. I don't know. It's a crappy one. Yes. Eight fire resistance isn't too shabby. As far as enchantments go, I could have much worse. Let's take a look. We got a door here. That's a lot of Medusas. Holy crap. Given my relative lack of success with normal Medusas, that's a, that's a big problem, actually. This thing is going to probably kill me very horribly. Let's save the game. So we've got a Gorgon between us and the entrance. There's no better time in the world to save. Let's see how powerful this thing is. Oh crap, we don't have Bless or Heroism active. Man, we don't have Bless, we cast Heroism. Okay, so he needs to be cured. I actually managed it, which is good. I shouldn't have cast that wheel, because I really need the, uh, banger. The mana for heroism. Someone heal me. Crap. Okay, so I think we're far enough back now. Yes. We're far enough back that it's using its, r its range attack. Never mind. Holy sh... That's bad. Okay, let's pop over here. It can't follow for now. Save the game again. And this thing is now in this room. Maybe it's not going to stay there. No interest whatsoever in staying in one place. Fine. So I do have 10 spell points. I am going to cast Heroism now, even though I have an unconscious party member. And she is dead outright. That's bad. As a rule, it is bad when your party members are dead. She's dead again. So, we might have found a sweet spot here where we can kill it from behind the door. Now this is the kind of dungeon where typically when you come to do stuff like this, you would not try to kill everything in the dungeon because it will crush you. That or you'll have to just come at a very high level. Gorgons are really, really high-end enemies. I think Gorgons are... Um, like from super late game. I know that they are in Might Magic 6, or in Might Magic 7. Really. In Might Magic 7, they're definitely end game enemies. You fight them in the uh, place that leads between. that uh, leads to basically the last area of the game. So. I suspect that there are endgame enemies here as well, just based off of how strong this thing seems to be. But I could be wrong. I often am. There are three Gorgons in that little chamber there. But I think this is the only actual Gorgon. Interesting note, but a Gorgon is the species, yes. and 
Medusa is actually the name of a specific person who was turned into a Gorgon. So, you would think that it would be something like for the naming convention. If I was going to do it, or to maintain the accuracy with Greek mythology, I'd go with something like Gorgon, then Gorgon Queen, and then Medusa. Because Medusa is the super famous Gorgon. Putting Gorgon as the last one is kind of weird. I don't know. Plus two spell points versus seven speed. She has eight speed, it'll be a pretty substantial buff to Lisa. Buff to speed itself. And oh hello, this is a grand druid. Interesting. On the plus side, we don't have anybody with any spell points for her to burn. On the negative side, she's gonna cast a fireball and kill three people instead of that. Okay. How are we going to get past that druid to get back to safety? Um, we could use Town Portal. That is actually an option. Um, I could try going further in this direction. Okay, so let's save this. And if she casts something that isn't a fireball, or if I actually dodge it like a non-noob, then I can get past. So we're past. I'm going to just pop outside. We've killed a lot of the big ones, so we just need to pop out here, uh, heal ourselves up, and then come back in. I was. I did not realize just how strong those Medusas are. I think that we're, based off of the general difficulty level here, I'm thinking that we're very fast approaching the point where we can just start taking out endgame enemies with relative ease. As soon as I get Master Axe, that'll start putting huge amounts of damage in. That'll almost double the amount of damage that Luri, or not Luri, uh, that Nisali is doing because it'll increase the damage output by one per skill point. She's got that much damage right now. So, we've done as much healing as we can do. So once we get Master Axe, that'll be huge. Um, and once we start accumulating some life-stealing weapons, I do think that Mordred will probably be something I'm going to use. So I'm going to need to get people to Expert Dagger, and basically when someone is low on life, and I'm fighting... Yeah, when, just in general, when someone's low on life, I'll just always have somebody holding Mordred in their offhand to do some life stealing. The one issue is that it'll dramatically reduce my chance to hit, because um, using the crappy skill that I'll have with Dagger to just two hit chances. It's going to be sad, but it should be fine. Now the other thing I need to do is make sure the heroes are high up. And I'm going to cast Shield. I think this is probably a Medusa or a Cobra or something. So let's see if it can come to me. It's Cobra. Save the game. So that's the first set dealt with. There's a Grand Druid over there, unfortunately. Oh, crap. So there's... Ah, this is the Gorgon. Perfect. It's actually a new silver. As I was saying, Medusa is a Gorgon. Now, actually, I'm not even sure that Medusa is technically a Gorgon. 
I think that she might be just made like the Gorgons. And that she isn't technically considered a Gorgon. I'm just not sure. So we wait for the next one. Yikes. Okay, so that's bad. The, the attack speed of these things is actually so slow that it's screwing me up. See, like, I need her to shoot at me. And she's actually running. This room isn't large enough to effectively kite in the manner that I was trying to there. Because the goal is just to dodge one attack while running away, and then dodge the next one while running toward. And then you're set. So there's... Is that another Gorgon? Jesus. Oh, this is a Medusa, but that's not one I was looking at, is it? Take this. Okay. This is a Sokoba. And we have enough to cast Heroism. We're going to cast it before we start losing our SP to Druids. This is a quick speed. A little bit of extra AC. So we've managed to pull a uh, Cobra here. That is three Medusas. I'm going to pull all the way down here. That that druid has actually gone down the cliff, so I'm going to see if she starts moving by one or two of them over here. Yes, so we can manipulate her somewhat. Can we get her to go even further than she is right now? It doesn't really look like it now. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get her to leave the room. There are four other enemies. I think they're all Gorgons. Well, Medusa. They're all... You know what I mean. <laughs> they are all Gorgon-type enemies. But yeah, it's very weird, because th this game has Medusas, then Medusa Enchantresses. When Medusa is an individual human being, she's a, she's a person. Not a classification. Whereas Gorgon is. So, on the plus side, the Grand Druid came out where we could just kill her without her Medusa friends. There's some crystal here. We got a Medusa, we got a Medusa, and a Medusa Chantress. So the question here becomes... Can we get one of these guys to go on the thing? Yes! So this one went on the staircase and did not actually attack yet. Which is good, because it means... Dragon alone. I need to just come to me. So this one's running now. And now we can continue on. Now the goal here... 
is just to basically accomplish the same thing that just happened. I want one of these to get on the staircase and then approach me. There we go. So we got this one on the staircase and approaching me. It's a little hard to manipulate the AI of these uh, Medusas. Because they don't, they're semi melee and that means that they do weird things sometimes. I think that this staircase interferes with line of sight in strange ways. I think that's why they're sometimes so slow to attack me. Is because of the staircase. The reason I say in weird ways is because it's not consistent. Usually, enemy attack patterns are very consistent. You can just... You, you can figure out their recovery time and then just dodge their spells. Suspect that staircase is causing issues for me. I actually should have just gone there. And I went too close on that. Because you need to be far enough away that they actually use their ranged attacks. It looks like this one's running. Oh great, and then I miss. Okay, let's save this. So we have two more to go, and then we'll be done with this temple. There is a druid back there. And it's not it shouldn't be running away from me. I can't imagine that that's what's going on. So good. This one is now going to be approaching me. Okay. Cast Bless, and start pounding into it. This is the Enchantress, of course. It'll be a little stronger, but how strong it is is not terribly relevant as long as you play properly and don't get yourself hit. So, let us endeavor to not get ourselves killed. That is very bad. Wizard Eye is very important for kite purposes. Shit. Oh, there we go. First stoning of the day. Let's save this. Let's get out of here before we get trapped in a corridor. We don't want to be in a corridor with a Medusa. Very bad place to be. There we go. 38 damage. Very nice. It is now running away. We can save the game. And finish it off. Cool beans. So I don't know if these are immune to magic in this game, but um, Medusas are kind of cool in uh, Might Magic 6 because they're completely immune to all spell damage. So they have no resistance to physical though, so it basically... There's one dungeon there that has um, oozes and... Oh, crap, I don't have... Oh. I don't know. I can't recast it anyway, so... This guy is... This lady is going to kill me. I didn't have heroism up. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to have heroism up. Yes. Doc came out of hell. Also, I think like this is too bad. It isn't great since we're all about 
hit point regeneration, not actual like max hit points. Okay, save the game. I do. This place would actually be extremely difficult if I had come to Freehaven first. So that. In some ways, it's a good thing that I didn't come no. here first, despite the fact that it me meant that I uh, ended up wasting time. So, turns <laughs> out that when you screw things up, it can make your life easier if you're screwing things up that are part of your challenge. So, when we have one screw up that made our life easier and one screw up that made our life harder now, overall. I'm actually going to go out and use that. Can I use the fountain? I don't even... I don't think the fountain has anything on it. I think it's already <laughs> done, Bar. The problem is that you can't do the normal line of sight tactics with these druids because of the... Um, I'm, I'm going to check if the fountain's working or not. You can't use normal line of sight with the Grand Druids, because the fireball spell will hit you even if you are behind cover. It does an AoE on the corner and then it hits you. So, because that has that area of effect... Oh, no! I'm actually going to town portal of the Sorbrel and turn in the bounty. I like how she says someone has already gotten the bounty for this month. We don't know who it was, but somebody did it. And I'm going to drink from this fountain with her. I will not drink from the fountain with anyone else, because um, the other people are not casting town portal with it. I'm going. So let's take a look. Nope. We still need time for this to come back into working order. Which means I'm just gonna have to head back. Let's see here. Is there a town hall or something? How are you? Uh, how, how are you? Hey, how's it going? I don't remember there being a town hall. But town halls are cool because they give you bounties and then you kill something and make money. How are you? And this makes you happy. How are you? Let's see. How are you? Hi. Save it up. And she has 14 spell points, which means that I can spend all of Soria's spell points now. Healing up the party. So I can cast one more of those. Uh, I'm going to try and cast a shield. Fail. That's a plus. cast arrows. Save the game. And we need those guys. Just to keep an eye on her. And I'm gonna just try and uh, beat her down before she gets a chance to stop me. So here's the crystals and altar. Okay, I don't think that I can do what I'm supposed to do here yet. Um, so, we'll just have to come back here once we actually get the quest to do whatever it is that happens here. So let's save the game. 
And the other thing that I didn't actually check, but which I should have, is whether when I town portal to whether I can town portal the Iron Fist. I'm pretty sure that I cannot, and that I need to actually take a cab there or something. Hi there. Pretty sure that that is the case. Not a hundred percent possible, but I think that's what's, I think that's what's up. Okay, so we've got some mages here. Let's deal with them. By the way, I would be able to make my life a lot easier if I would just town portal to Blackshire. I think Blackshire is the one that has the Guild of Light. Um, to pick, start picking up light magic spells and stuff like that. That would make my life easier. However, part of the run was that I wasn't going to... I was basically going to complete every area that I go to before I move on to the next one. So I'm willing to town portal to back to previous areas, and I will town portal to get to places like Blackshire eventually, but I won't be town portaling to them until I am ready to move on to that zone, and then once I teleport to them, it'll be a one-way trip. Well, not a one-way trip, but I won't be able to go to the next one after them until we finish it. And I should really have protection from water cast because they're protection from cold weather. Okay, so let's kill all these guys. Let's toast. We have one more here. There are a few dungeons here. I think there's there's at least one more that I directly recall. There might be more than that, and there probably is at least one more than that. Oh, well, maybe not. Wow, why are we hitting them such a pathetic advantage? What, what happened all of a sudden? I mean, I know heroism wore off, but that's no justification for doing six points of damage. If the, like, low-level mage enemies have resistance to physical damage, that's going to be very sad. I'll have to look that up later. Okay, so we have to wait on one more point. Alright, okay, I'm going to save it up. And I'm actually going to end this here for now. We will come back in just a bit.